Dallas County Commissioners today again talking about controlling what private companies pay their employees. Specifically, if they can keep a county contract away from a low bidder or company because that company doesn't pay employees what County Judge Clay Jenkins wants them paid, what he calls a living wage. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has our story. If you come to work 40 hours a week and you run the metal detector, you scrub and you clean and you dump trash, and you're in a Dallas County building for 40, week, for 40 hours a week, but you're treated differently than everybody else in that building, that's going to be a morale problem. Besides being a moral problem, that's really what it is, too. It's a, it's, it's a moral problem. The living wage debate coming as commissioners were briefed on a contract for building security. Staff recommended Vets Securing America. They were the lowest bid, and it pays its unarmed guards $9 an hour. Judge Jenkins wanted Texas Star Security because its unarmed guards are paid $11.50 an hour. Jenkins says he favors the higher wage above his living wage wish of $10.25 for everyone who works in any way with the county. Now the problem we're going to have, and, and, and as I see it right now, is what does the case law say is lowest and best bid? Commissioners have already asked the Attorney General for an opinion on whether they can require contract vendors to pay their workers a certain amount of money. The AG has not yet responded. Jenkins believes he has authority. Governmental entities, that's us, can enforce a higher minimum wage in a contract um, with a vendor. If you make part of a contract mandatory that you pay a minimum wage, then they'll pay that minimum wage. But, says Commissioner Cantrell, companies will rob Peter to pay Paul. They're going to make the same profit. It's a free market. It's a free enterprise. So what they do is they either raise the prices to everyone else or they just charge Dallas County. So we, we pay that. Jenkins, as the court's judge in the bully pulpit, says it's hypocritical for the court to not try and raise people to a living wage. It's like talking to your kids um, about not smoking pot when they know where your bong is and you smell like pot. The court, that's a funny line, the court is supposed to vote next week on the security contract.